clam it. I thought I finally had her out of my hair, but it looks like she was one step ahead of me this whole time. Um, I... I take it you and your mother aren't on good terms then? Yeah, I think that much was abundantly clear. Things have been rocky between us for a long time now. Once I left home, that was the first step that led me to enrolling in the academy. But how was I supposed to know I'd gone and signed up for the school she sits on the board of directors of? How could I have been so stupid? Why didn't I conduct a more thorough investigation before I made my choice? I... I don't know what to say. You have our sympathies, I suppose. Is your mother being on the board of directors really such a problem? Um, well, it's complicated. Usually, she seems like she's only interested in her work, but then she'll suddenly start meddling in my life. She says to just do what I want, but it always turns out that wherever I go, she's there ahead of me, just like today. <sighs> I should have known something was up. The bank account my grandfather gave me to cover my academy expenses hasn't taken a dip since my first day at Thor's. So your mother's been paying your bills the whole time. It does seem like a strong possibility, especially considering her presence on the board of directors. Hmm. I can't see what you're... Grousing? Grousing? Grousing. I can't see what you're grousing about. Most people would be grateful to have a parent display that much interest. What? At least your mother spared the time to come and greet us. At least she showed you the slightest interest. At least she showed the slightest trace of interest in you and your classmates. Oh. Uses. Hmm. Forget it. Remember, Uses' dad didn't do that. Well, we, entered, we just entered a tunnel. The first of many, now that we're going through the mountains. I see. Anyway, how about we dig into those lunches Sharon made for us? That sounds good to me. It seems like she went out of her way to prepare them. Alright. If these, if these are subpar because she had to make do with the airship's kitchen, I won't let her hear the end of it. Ha. Well then, let's dig in. Wow, so you're going to the Highlands for an academy field study? Sounds like you budding soldiers do some pretty interesting things as part of your training these days. I suppose you could say that. Thor seems quite different from most other military academies in that regard, though. Still, it feels pretty neat to see you all dressed up in your uniforms. They look pretty sharp on you. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Even at the academy, guys always stands out because of his height. Yeah, he towers over even the second years. Are all of the people in your settlement of a similar height? Nah, I'd say my dad is the only one who really has height on me. My younger brother is fairly short, though I wouldn't doubt he has another growth spurt coming his way. I seem to remember you mentioning you had quite a few siblings. A younger brother and two younger sisters, to be exact. They're a little on the shy side, but I hope you'll get along with them. Can do. Still, if you look through the window, it really feels like we're getting close to the Highlands now. Indeed. Man, seeing you kids rushing off on some adventure kind of makes me jealous. Anyway, we're about halfway through the Isengard range now. We should reach Zinder Gate in two hours or so, so take this time to relax. Thank you. We appreciate the info. Did you meet him back in the spring when you were on your way to Trista? Yeah, made the same trip back then too. We had plenty of time to kill, so he taught me a lot about Erebonian culture. Sounds like a pretty nice guy. I'll bet that served as a pretty useful primer. It did. There are a lot of people I'm thankful to for helping me come this far. But most of all, I'm thankful to the winds and to the goddess. The winds and the goddess? Classic guys. Classic Gaius. Oh, ha, ha. Good old Gaius. With his primitive thought patterns. 
Heh, that looks like we ought to be coming out of the last tunnel anytime now. I see. Elisa, Eusis, we're almost there. Ah, hmm. Oh. So this is... I can only just make it out in the distance, but it looks like that's it. So that's the Nord Highlands. I'll admit, it appears even more breathtaking than I was expecting. I'll be even happier to hear you say so once you've seen it up close. I guess I shouldn't say he had a primitive mindset. More like a naive. Or a simple, a simple mindset. Ah, you've arrived. It's a pleasure to see you again, Lieutenant General. Likewise, it's been months since I last saw you. Seems almost surreal to see you standing there in a military academy uniform. Though, this is the first time I've seen the Thor's emblem, or ensemble in red. This is the color they use for my class, Class 7. It looks like he's pretty high up in the Imperial Army. Yeah, I'm betting he's the Lieutenant General in charge of Zinder Gate. He seems quite close to guys. An Imperial General with an eye patch. That seems familiar somehow. These must be your classmates. Indeed, these are about half of my classmates from Class 7. I'm Reen Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Alisa Reinford, sir. I'm Emma Milstein, sir. Eustis Albrea, it's an honor. Seems like your classmates are as interesting a bunch as I'd heard. I'm Zex Vander, commanding officer of the Imperial Army's 3rd Armored Division. Pleased to finally meet you. One-eyed Zex. So you're one of the guardians to th of the Arner family. Oh, it seems some of you already know of me. A guardian of the Arnor family? Ah, now I remember. The Vanders are a celebrated military family responsible for the protection of the Imperial family. And one-eyed Zex Vander is said to be one of the Imperial Army's finest generals. They say the Vander and the Arsid schools of swordsmanship are the two most renowned styles in Erebonia. It, it's truly an honor to meet you, sir. I'm just a military man. Hardly deserving of quite that level of praise. I'd love to hear about all of you and your excursion to the Highlands, but unfortunately, we don't have the time. You should set out as soon as possible if you want to reach the settlement by nightfall. I agree. Were you able to take care of all the arrangements? I did, rest assured. What arrangements? We need to head out now if we want to reach Gaius home by sundown, right? Right, which is why I asked the Lieutenant General to arrange some transportation for us. We're gonna drive a tank! Haha, <laughs> alright, just follow me and I'll show you the way. Wow. It's simply breathtaking. I had no idea land so beautiful lay at the far end of the railway. Honestly, I suppose words are woefully insufficient in the face of such majesty. Glad to hear you think so.
Horses? Are you saying we're to travel to the settlement on horseback? The highlands are way too vast to cover in any reasonable length of time on foot. You'll be fine. You're a member of the riding club, and Rena and Elisa both have riding experience, right? Yeah, I think I can manage. I learned back at home, so I should be okay as long as we aren't making any trick jumps or anything. Um, I'm afraid I've never ridden a horse before. Not a problem. You can just hitch a ride on the back of someone else's horse. At least it would probably be the best choice considering the balance of weight. I can do that. Is that alright with you, Emma? Y yes although I do feel a little nervous. Let's mount up at once then. Those are not tanks. I wanted tanks. Okay, steady now, steady. This is a fine horse. Are you doing okay back there, Emma? Uh, yes, I'm fine, I think. <laughs> Make sure to hold on tight when we start moving. This should be a fun trip. They're all top quality horses, raised here in the Highlands. At a good clip, you should be able to reach the settlement in under an hour. Oh, and before I forget, I'm sure Gaius won't have much need of this, but the rest of you should take a map of the Highlands. A map? Wow! Such a high level of detail. It looks as though the army's surveying expertise is being put to the good use. Indeed, I hope it'll prove useful during your field study. Thank you very much, sir. Alright, that's about it for me. You should be heading out. May the blessing of the winds and the goddess be with you. Give my regards to the Elder and the Khan. We will. Thank you for seeing us off, sir. If you'll excuse us, then. <sighs> this is worlds apart from the bustle of the city. It really is. I feel like I'm on with the wind. Indeed. But if you didn't go too fast, that would be great. I'm sure it will feel natural in time. No doubt the riding club would be fuming with envy if they could see us now. <laughs> I'll bet. <laughs> anyway, my home settlement is due northeast of here. Hopefully we'll be able to reach it before sundown. Right. Let's move! How to ride the horse. Horseback riding controls are largely the same as those uh, regular movement. Use the left stick to move and dash and pressing the R1 button. So I'm not gonna lie, the Nord Highlands is like my favorite part or area in this game. Um, I don't think it's my favorite part of the game, like in terms of the story, but in terms of zone, like area that you have to run around in, it's the best. <laughs> You're as excited as a child. I think I'm just caught up in the moment. And it helps that you get to ride around on horseback the whole time you're here. It's really fun. So, which way do we go? The plains are so vast that it's surprisingly easy to lose your sense of direction. True, maybe it'd help if I showed you a couple major landmarks to help you get your bearings. Over that way is Cinder Gate. That's where we set out from. That landmark over there is Triangular Rock. It's sort of the centerpiece of this part of the Highlands. It's so massive. The farther away we can see it from, the better of a landmark it'll be. Oh, what's that building over to the left of it? Oh, that? It's a watchtower built by the Imperial Army in the southeastern part of the Highlands. Heard they built it to keep an eye on the Kalvard Republic out to the east. So that's an Imperial Army watchtower. I suppose it should come as no surprise that the army would want a watchtower here. True, the Highlands border both Kalvard and Erbonia, much like Crossbell. Yep, and finally... If you look towards those mountains, my home is out in that direction. Ah, gotcha. Let me take another look at the map. Okay, I think I have a better idea where everything is now. 
Yeah, it seems like we ought to keep this map handy until we're more familiar with the Highlands, though. Come to think of it, what are those stone pillars over there? Oh, now that you point them out, I'm surprised I didn't notice them before. They seem man-made, or at the very least, not the sort of construct nature would leave lying around. There are quite a few similar objects and structures scattered across the Highlands. Most folks think they're what remains of the Neolithic civilization that existed here over a thousand years ago. Wow, that's pretty far back. Hmm, I suppose in that way, they're not dissimilar from the Animus ruins in Erebonia. Perhaps not. I'm not surprised you're curious about them, but we should save that discussion for later. Right now, we need to reach the settlement before sundown. Right. Okay, let's ride. Sun's almost down. We're almost at the settlement. Let's keep up the pace, guys. Yeah. Wow. So this is Gaius' home, huh? Even though I've never been here before, it feels nostalgic somehow. Indeed, the scenery makes me a little wistful for my own home. You can say that again. Well, we don't actually stay in this area all year round. Sometimes, between summer and fall, we move to another location farther to the north. I guess that's why they call you nomads, then. Is that why you live in those strange tent buildings? Yep, they're made with thick cloth and designed so we can put them up and take them down pretty easily. Anyway, let me show you to my home first. Then we can go and greet the Elder after. Bro! Oh, they're so cute! You finally came back! Welcome home, we missed you. Hey Lily, Sheeta, I'm back. Good to see you looking well too, Toma. Ha, ah, glad you made it back safe. It's good to see you, bro. Thanks. Aw, they really seem to love him. Yeah, watching him makes me wish I had my... I had a little brother or sister of my own. It does. Oh, hey, are these the people you wrote about in your letters? They are indeed. The illustrious, industrious Class 7. Um, it's nice to meet you. I'm Br er, Gaius' brother, Toma. These are our sisters, Sheeta and Lily. I it's nice to meet you. Are you bros friends? Sure are. It's good to meet you too. I'm Reen. I'm Elisa, and it's lovely to meet you. You're all so cute. I'm Emma. Yusus Alvarea. I'm honored. I just realized something. I feel like... This is like a hundred hour game, right? I feel like six of those hours must be me reading them introducing themselves to other people because it seems like they do it a lot there's a lot of introductions to other people in this game and not just like the game goes and they introduce each other or something like you have to read each person's introduction because they each take a turn it's a nice detail but at the same time it's like a lot of introductions and after a while you're just like i've been introducing myself all over erbonia Anyway. Wow, they all seem so... Herobonian. 
Ha, I'm glad to see you've been blessed with such wonderful friends. Dad, Mom, I'm home. Welcome home, Gaius. It's a pleasure to finally meet you all. I'm Gaius' mother, Fatma. That's a horrible name. <laughs> His mother? But you look so young and attractive. Wow. I mean, <clears throat> flattery will get you everywhere. I am Gaius' father, Lacan Warzel. I am very glad to meet my son's friends and schoolmates. The pleasure is all ours. Likewise, I prepared a place for all of you to stay while, we're, while you're our guests. There is much to discuss, of course, but you should drop off your belongings there first. It will soon be sundown. Come to my home and share in our evening meal. This is delicious. How do you get it to taste so good? We season the pheasant meat with herbs and rock salt, then wrap and cook it. It's made to the taste of us Highlanders, so I wasn't sure if you Erebonians would like it. All I can say is I'll be wanting seconds soon. These grilled skewers are really good too. They've got this deep, rich flavor. Oh, those are kebabs. We just stick some lamb meat on a skewer and grill it. The food here is exquisite. I'll never, I've never tasted its like. I almost feel sorry that the rest of our class isn't here to enjoy it. I'm glad you think so. Here I was worrying that you're, that the taste might not agree with you. Everyone loves mom's cooking. No doubt you're all tired from your long journey. Nord Cuisine is effective at easing fatigue. That's important when you travel as much as we do. I can see why. I already feel a little more relaxed. Maybe I should get these recipes so I can teach them to Sharon. Um, try some of this tea too. When you make it with local herbs, it's supposed to be good for digestion. <laughs> it's like Activia, but tea. Activia tea form! Mmm. Oh, thank you. I think I will. He has a very gentle taste. The land of Nord is nothing if not a free country. I have no doubt your time here will make for a very unique experience, though not without inconveniences here and there. Still, these highlands have plenty of history with your own homeland. Might you be referring to the story of Emperor Dracles? We've been learning in class how during the War of the Lions, he first started gathering his army here in Nord. That's right. Tales of Emperor Dracles' exploits are passed down here in Nord, too. After the war ended, he became Emperor of Erebonia and swore eternal friendship with the people of Nord. That friendship has held strong to this day, and I pray it will continue far into the future. I see. While the people of Nord are not counted as true Erebonians, they are still regarded as our close neighbors and allies. That's about how it shakes out, though recently the Calvard Republic has been creeping into the southeastern highlands. They've been trying to cultivate good relationships with the people there, but the Republic's forays into the highlands have certainly created some tension. The Empire and the Republic are old foes after all. Thankfully, we managed to avoid any armed conflicts in the last few years. Although politically and economically, relationships between the two are only getting are only growing worse. It seems like that simmering conflict is what led to that incident in Crossbell last month. No doubt an outgrowth of the ongoing conflict between pro-Calvardian and pro-Erebonian forces in their governments. Though it seems... Be that as it may, to both countries, Nord is a remote region of relatively little importance. While there is a military presence in the Highlands, that's not something you should have to worry about during your stay. Just try to focus on your field study while you're here. We'll do what we can. 
You must be the one who chose our task for this month's field study, right? Indeed, I did. Though the hour is already late, I'll give you your tasks in the morning. As for the area you'll cover in your study, I think it would be wise to focus on the southwestern plains tomorrow morning. The southwest, hmm? We crossed that area in our trek here today, I believe. Yeah, the highlands are vast wide open space. They extend well past the northern end of the settlement too, but let's just start with the southwestern plains. Sounds good to me. So everything we've got on the agenda for tomorrow will be in the southwest? Exactly. Try and be back at the settlement around noon, guys. I'll give you the remaining task after our midday meal. Got it, Dad. Anyway, here I am talking your ear off when I should be letting you get some rest after your long day. We rise before the sun here, so sleep well. Morning will come sooner than you think. The place we've prepared for you has beds ready. Can you show them the way, guys? Sure thing. I want to show them the way, too. M me too. Come on, I'm sure Bro can handle it on his own. Haha. Hee hee. Woohoo. Thank you for so much for the meal. Good night, everyone. Sorry, I know you girls probably would have preferred separate rooms, but this is what we've got. Oh, don't worry about it, because I've matured so much from when we were in Keldic. Rena and Eusis are both gentlemen after all. We have nothing to worry about. Hmm, but of course. Thanks, guys. You'll be staying over at your family's place then? My sisters both insisted on it. I couldn't turn them down. Will it be alright if I come in and wake you guys up at sunrise? Yeah, that sounds fine. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep the moment my head hits the pillow. By all means, get your beauty sleep. Alright, pleasant dreams, everyone. Good night, guys. He's quite the fortunate man. I thought the same thing while we were eating dinner. He's got those adorable siblings, two parents who really care about him. I can see where Gaius gets his calm and level-headed personality. Part of a caring family growing up side by side with nature like this, it's like he couldn't have turned out any other way. True enough. Anyway, it sounds like we've got an agonizingly early wake up call coming our way. We should get some sleep. No objection from me. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm going to fall asleep on my feet at this rate. Well, let's get dressed for bed and turn off the lights. <laughs> 